all began in Yorkshire, it all began in Huddersfield and with a dream. It, it began with James Herriot, it began with reading books and um, basically I find myself living now at one of the highest remotest hill farms in, in, in Yorkshire. And how did you get to become a shepherdess? Uh, I always lay the blame at James Herriot's door. James Herriot, for me, reading those books, watching the television, that television programme, All Creatures Great and Small, the, the people, the outdoors, the countryside. Living in Huddersfield, um, it, was, it was very urban. I was in the town, but out of my window, I could see the moors, I could see the hills, and that is where I wanted to go. And tell me about your home in Ravensea. What can I say? Ravenseat is a very busy, busy place. It's a, it's a place of contrast, I suppose. It's um, a remote place, but it's a place of happiness. It's a place that's full of children, full of life. And of course, I feel like we've shared it with, um, with a whole lot of people all over the world. And you've got your nine children, so how, how do they love the farm? <laughs> what do they get up to? The nine children, I mean, I would say they're supposed to be free range. They're very outdoorsy. They've got horses, they've got cows, sheep, you name it, it's all going on. We're a very busy household. Um, it's, it's a good life. It, it has its moments. Um, there's never a dull moment in our house. And how did our Yorkshire farm come about? It's been slow baby steps. It all began quite a few years ago with regional television and being a bit part at the beginning of the documentary style programmes. Um, there was Dale's Diary. Then of course there was the Fly on the Wall documentary with Aid Edmondson, the Dales. And from there the opportunity to write, uh, do books. And people realised there was an interest in the countryside and the outdoors, this wonderful county and everything that we've got on the doorstep. So that is how it came about. Um, and you know, I'm, I've always been someone who looks for opportunities. The opportunity came along, and that's okay. And explain to me a little bit about the sort of year of two halves at Ravensea. The year of two halves is is something um, quite distinct in my life. I have six months of being with the sheep from tupping time in late autumn right through to lambing time it is all about the sheep that is the focus it is about getting them in lamb foddering them and tending to them throughout the winter months then lambing time then of course they head back to the moors back to their freedoms i guess what they enjoy and it gives me a chance to morph into the other part of my life my farm diversification whereby it's all about walkers, the general public, and people um, coming through the farm. And lockdown, we've just come out of lockdown. How was lockdown for you? Tell me about the kind of difficult parts, but then again, the, the sort of good parts of lockdown. Uh, well, this year has been a very strange year, of course, with, with lockdown. Um, I very much miss the people coming back. I mean, even though we live remotely and um, and I suppose as isolated as it gets, I've really felt there's been a, a what can I say, a sort, of, a, a sort of feeling in the air that things weren't right. During lambing time, everything continued as normal because of course your focus is then entirely upon the sheep. But once we were past lambing time and into May, that's usually when the tourists, the visitors come back. And of course they didn't this year. So it, um, it, it's presented it, its own kind of problems and issues. Of course, having nine children at home <laughs> was, was one of the first ones. Um, and how much they actually consume. I would be having an absolute panic attack every time I heard the fridge door go. But, you know, we've, we've kind of got ourselves into the rhythm of it. Um, we're battling all the same things that we would usually be battling. The elements, the rain, the sunshine, you name it. That is what we are good at being from Yorkshire, being farmers, we can turn his hand to anything. So, so we're fortunate that we did have the space which meant that life could pretty much carry on as normal. But yeah, I, um, I can't wait for some sort of normality to return. And you've 